Squad 1 to Overlord. Scanning for hostiles now. I'm detecting some strange interference. Atomic fighters, evade! away from me. You almost had him. Let's regroup. Commander! General Dayrun, what can I do for you? I'm glad I caught you. Darth Malgus is assembling one of the largest attack fleets in history. We need your help. Well, that fleet has one less destroyer than it could have. Unfortunately, I doubt the other 73 will miss it. We're in the operations center on Carrick Station. Please hurry, Commander. They ruin out. More than 100 capital ships, with smaller picket ships and support vessels close by. And that's not all. There's enough fuel transports for all those warships to cross half the galaxy. Darth Malgus is leaving nothing to chance. His fleet won't stop until they reach the objective. Which is? Corellia. Why attack Corellia again after all these years? The fleet's target is the Meridian Complex, a state-of-the-art shipyard that's due to begin production in a matter of weeks. The Meridian Complex can produce new warships at triple the speed of any existing shipyard, and at half the energy cost. Once that shipyard becomes operational, it could give the Republic a significant advantage in a matter of months. That's why they're committing so many ships to this mission. The Sith Empire will stop at nothing to destroy this new shipyard before it can save the Republic's war effort. Yeah, yeah, big bad imps want to smash our new toy. Want to skip to the part where I'm saving the day? Gladly. It's crucial that we redeploy the Republic fleet to defend the Meridian Complex immediately. Unlike Malgus, we can't move our ships to Corellia without refueling stops. We expect the Empire's top agents to target our reinforcements anywhere they stop. They won't risk our forces arriving in time to make a difference. We want you to defend and expedite those reinforcements as best you can. If we defeat the Empire at Corellia, we turn the tide of this war in our favor. That's my part. What will you two be doing? Once we've organized the ships moving to defend Corellia, I will take charge of the ground defenses based in Coronet City. I'm leaving shortly to meet with the Green Jedi. I'll help coordinate their defense efforts with our own. Your first objective will be the planet Onderon. The 11th Fleet is gathering there to resupply and refuel before heading to Corellia. It's the only Republic port within range of their current position. Onderon has been a Republic world for centuries, but local politics have become strained and fractious. Tawadere is already investigating. She suspects Imperial infiltration. If she's right, and Onderon's leaders are turning on us, how far are you willing to have me go? I trust your judgment. Getting those ships to Corellia is the top priority, no matter what. General, word from the 87th. I'll leave you to it, Commander. Good luck. Speaking of Tau, I have one more favor to ask of you, Commander. Arn, if you please. Commander, I'm looking forward to meeting you. I'm Arn Peralan, Jedi Padawan. Don't think I've ever met a cyborg Jedi before. Neither have I. Tau had to leave for Onderon before I could introduce her new Padawan. Since you're heading there anyway, I thought Arn might ride along with you. Heed the Commander's words well, Arn. May the Force be with you both. Artillery fire. On Daycot 7. What? How'd it happen? How'd you get injured? Yeah, that's everyone's first question. My master and I were escorting refugees. He died. I survived. More or less. Daycot 7 has advanced technology. 
The locals can't use Colto or Bacta. Genetically incompatible, they said. So they use cybernetics to treat all their severe injuries. The recovery took years. I don't know if I can still become the Jedi I hoped to be, but I'm not giving up now. You can do great things whether you're a Jedi or not. I don't know how to be anything else. Hey, before we go, my new master, Tao, what can you tell me about her? Honestly, I'm surprised Nostara will have her train you. I'm not sure she knows enough about being a Jedi to teach someone else. Not holding back, are ya? Well, I always appreciate an honest answer. But there must be something I can learn from her, even if it's what not to do. Thanks. I'm ready when you are. Lana, I'm heading for Onderon. Gather up anyone that's free and meet me there. Understood. We'll set out immediately. know about Onderon, Arn? Well, we just landed in the heart of the capital. Not that there are any other major cities. The planet is mostly wilderness. The wildlife is famously dangerous. The plant life is hardy enough to seed barren planets and spark new ecosystems. So that definitely makes Onderon an important resource world. Uh, what else? Um, ah, the planet is ruled by a king named Petrif, who's been on the throne for just over three years. You must have a whole database of information stored in your implants, huh? Or maybe I just pay attention when Master Nostral speaks? Let's find Lana and hear what she's learned about the Imperial's plans. Lana... Lana Benico, right? The Sith Lord that works for you? Oh, yes. Head to toe, black armor, claws, fangs, everything. All right, sorry. I didn't mean... I've just never actually had a conversation with a Sith before, you know? So... after you? Commander, welcome to Onderon. This must be your new friend, Arn Parala. Jedi Padawan. Hmm. Uh, nice to meet you? enjoying this a little too much. I so rarely get to menace innocent young Jedi anymore. Onderon is a powder keg. King Petrith has been at odds with his noble council for months. From what Theron and I have learned, he wants to strip mine the planet to line his coffers. The nobles aren't interested in that plan. As a result, Petrith has changed residence to his hunting lodge in the wilderness, where the nobles can't keep track of his activities or visitors. The nobles are led by Senator Nebet, the planet's Republic representative. She was kind enough to lend us her office. Nibet's people have detected coded transmissions from the hunting lodge. The code used is highly sophisticated and not Onderonian. An Imperial code? Nibet suspects as much. I have Dr. Ogorob analyzing it to confirm, but in the meantime, the Senator is preparing the city for a potential attack. To that end, our people are spread across the capital, shoring up the city's defenses. I believe you'll find Tao Adair in the central marketplace. Have you given Tao as much trouble as her Padawan? We haven't been introduced, though we did see her across the marketplace this morning. Rest assured, I did my best to appear sinister while browsing the produce. All right, Arn. Ready to meet your new master? Ready as I'll ever be. It was nice to meet you, Lord. Lady, uh... <sighs> Just Lana will do. Commander. Good to see you again. You must be Arn. Uh, yes, Arn Perallin. I uh, look forward to learning from you. Great. Well, uh, let's get started. Sounds good. Uh, so, where should we start? I have no idea. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um. I'm really glad I could help bring the two most awkward Jedi in the galaxy together. Sorry, it really is great to meet you. I've just never had a Padawan before. First day jitters. We're under attack! Everyone all right? You two 
Crew get to the palace. Coordinate with Lana. Right away. Arn, are you ready? Arn! I'm ready. You're heading for the explosions? That's usually where the fun is, right? Enjoy. Let's move. You look different somehow, and you arrived even earlier than my most ambitious estimates. I think I'd remember meeting uh, you before. We'll have an opportunity to get reacquainted later. In person, I'll see to it. The firing sequence is already locked in. My calculations leave no room for error or intervention. You may just my remote droids, but not before the orbital defense cannons obliterate the Republic fleet. All units, begin combat recording protocol Orek. Let's see what your troops are capable of. Impressive. attack was a diversion. The Imperials used the orbital defense guns to destroy our ships. I couldn't stop them. Blast it out. How bad is it? I'm not sure yet. But we're not doing much better. You mind giving us some help in the throne room? On my way. He was a Koru. Leader of the Untamed. They followed the old ways of the Beast Riders, or at least their version of the old ways. Commander, I am Senator Nebet. I thank you for your heroism and your timeliness. The deadliest of the attackers were his followers. They're violent isolationists that want all off world influences killed or driven away. The rest are the King's own soldiers, led to their deaths by Petrif himself, and some kind of droids I don't recognize. The droids are Imperial, remote piloted. I fought more of them in the control room for the orbital cannons. They actually spoke to me. The woman controlling them claimed to know me, but I didn't learn any more than that. The coded messages. The Empire must have convinced Petrif that we were plotting against him. Before he retreated, he kept ranting about reclaiming his throne. Though how the Empire could have gotten the Untamed to fight alongside the King is beyond me. Let's see to our wounded and determine the extent of the damage. Then we can reconvene to discuss strategy. The death toll is still being calculated. At the very least, hundreds of guards and civilians have died. Damage to the city itself was minimal. They attack so quickly that we hardly engage them before they reach the palace. Most of our ships in orbit were destroyed or disabled before they could raise shields. Only three managed to escape the attack. They're headed for Corellia now. Such terrible losses. I am so sorry. If the ships have left, does that mean you'll be leaving soon as well? I wish we could stay to help, but with the Imperials heading for Corellia... We should stay. We have to stay. It's not up to you. I want to hear him out. What's on your mind, Arn? The droids that attacked us were being controlled remotely, and you said they spoke with a woman's voice. Darth Savick is the new Dark Council member in charge of scientific research. I read about her in Nostral's files. She uses droids in all of her missions. And I had a look at their internals. The signal range isn't far. That means Savick is on this planet as we speak. A Dark Council member could tell us a lot about the Empire's plans. If we can find Savick, she'll know which of our other fleets they're targeting. She's probably long gone by now. We'd know if any ships had come or gone. Our defenses have been at maximum alert since the attack. We can start with King Petrif. If the Sith are manipulating him, they won't be far. He was last seen heading toward his royal hunting lodge. If you're crossing the Onderan Wilds, you'll need guidance. Fortunately, I found just the help you need. Jakaro, C2D4. 
It will be our great pleasure to guide you across our beloved Underon. What have you been doing all these years? We have served moron after moron, fool after fool, but now fortune turns in our favor at last. We'll leave you to that. It's best if Arna and I stick around to hold the line here in case the imps make another attack. But don't hesitate to call if you need backup. I assure you, Master Jedi, they're in the best of hands. No, oh, hands. <laughs> of course. To the Royal Hunting Lodge! Your task is complete. Evacuate your forces and meet at rendezvous point one. But Lord Malgus, surely we have more to gain by holding this world than abandoning it. The resources alone. You can't leave now. The better Nolakins will have me imprisoned. Promises were made. I am king. You are nothing. Oh. I cannot hold my throne without your support. This is unacceptable. Go with my droids, dear king. Onderon will bow to you again soon enough. Until then, we must keep you safe. You again. You're slowing down as you get older. That's twice you've been too late to stop me. Leave so soon. I was looking forward to catching up after all this time. Don't pretend. You don't remember me at all, I'm sure. This is a neutron emitter. Once fully charged, it will emit a wave of energy fatal to all organic life within range. The range is just enough to engulf the whole building, and the effect lasts for hours. Once you're dead, my droids will have plenty of time to fortify the building against further incursions. Should we be running away? You can try. So what's the fastest way out of here? The balcony, obviously. If only someone had been brilliant enough to order that remote piloting system for our ship. And to start flying it here at the first sign of trouble. What genius could have accomplished it? Great work, D4. about the guards in the East Corridor. Yes. I, I feel two of them. They're nervous, but it's a general concern. Nothing threatening. Dead on. The North Corridor. Hmm. Uh, three. But they aren't guards. They feel different. Kitchen staff, I think. Right again. But can you sense the Commander's Sith friend down in the armory? Uh, no. I can sense the guards there, but... No one else. Can't even sense a Sith Lord. Not much good, am I? I don't sense her either. But that's because she's actually out checking on the main gate. Your friends will make mistakes. Your enemies will lie. Your senses can be deceived but you can always trust what the Force tells you. That must be handy. The rest of us just have to muddle through. Well, knowing to listen and remembering to listen even when the pressure's on, two different things. But Arn's a natural. Thanks. Thank you for your patience. The nobles would rather debate who was most wronged by the King's treason than decide on a course of action. We were right about Darth Savak and King Petrov. The Sith manipulated him into attacking. 
But they both managed to escape. Any hints about where they might go next? Darth Malgus ordered Savik to leave Onderon, but nothing beyond that. I think it's time to pay a visit to the other attackers. The Untamed, to fight for the Sith. The Untamed must have been manipulated even more effectively than the King. I'm sure they're all the more frustrated for it. They know the Wilderness better than our finest scouts. They have both the motive and means to help you find Savik. They tried to kill us. Can I really trust them? I don't understand their code of honor, but they do have one. If you follow it, you should be able to earn their cooperation. They'll be in mourning now. I made sure their dead warriors were returned to them, to comply with the traditions they hold above all else. Light the appropriate beacons as you approach their hideout, and they will treat you with something like respect. If Senator Nebet agrees, we'll gather volunteers from the city guard. As soon as you find Savik's location, we'll be ready to launch a coordinated attack. Of course. Onderon will see justice done. Good luck, Commander. We honor Okoru. We honor the Fallen. Offworlder! You observe our rights and customs. You show the respect due to the true masters of this world. We may speak your purpose here. Just be quick about it. I'm looking for Darth Savick. Do you know where she is? One Offworlder seeking another. Why should we be involved? The sooner I find Savick, the sooner I'll leave Onderon. Simple as that. The fewer Offworlders spoiling our world, the better. If you will take your fellow defilers and leave, that is sufficient cause. The ancient proving grounds. Your city dwellers will know where it is. Savik thought she could hide a ship there. From other ignorant offworlders, perhaps. But not from us. You will find her there. Petrev, too. Now go! We will never suffer your presence here again. The shuttles were pretty well hidden, but we've got a full sensor lock. Now that we know where to look, they won't leave without us knowing. Volunteers from the city guard are ready and speeders are prepped. We can be there in minutes. Tau, Arn, you'll take the volunteers and attack from the far side. Make a lot of noise. Draw Savik's attention. I'll go on foot and catch Savik off guard. Hello, this is Malrev 4 all over again. <laughs> That's not how I remember it. The Proving Grounds are ancient and dangerous, even without Imperial patrols. Be cautious. If you manage to find Petrif, please bring him back. The sooner he faces justice for betraying his people, the better. An exiled king can tell his own version of the story, rally supporters, and cause endless trouble. A man in prison is a memory that quickly fades. If Petrif goes to prison, who takes the throne of Onderon? That will be a discussion for the Noble Council. His closest relatives are his cousins, but they aren't suited to kingship. Sensors are picking up energy blooms. Might be the shuttles powering up. Better move out. Be sure to cause as much chaos as you can. I want to make sure Savik doesn't see me coming. Good luck out there. Not so fast. The diversion was impressive. Not so fast. The diversion was impressive, but I know your moves too well to be fooled by a mere imitation. Now that I see you in person, you do seem familiar. Was it Corellia? Yes, it was Corellia. You're clear for launch, Petrif. The sensor jammers will activate when you exit orbit. You'll be all but impossible to track. Await my return, dear Onderon. You shall know the splendor of my rule once again. Let's ensure a bit of privacy while we're at it. Shuttle 2. Commence aerial assault on hostiles in Zone 5. Now then. I've prepared for this day for so long. Where to even begin? You struck me down in my prime, then moved on without a second thought. Corellia would have been my tomb had my droids not found me. In truth, I 
should thank you. You made me what I am. Taught me the best way to move forward. I haven't risked direct combat in a decade. I send my droids or manipulate fools like Petrif to fight for me. But now, at last, the Force has reunited us. I've spent years studying you, crafting the ideal response to your every tactic. Shall we test what I've learned? When you fought me, it changed your entire life. When I fought you, I won so easily that I forgot it ever happened. Whatever you've learned since then, it won't be enough. Hate was supposed to make me stronger. All of my rage, all of these years, it still wasn't enough. I've studied, trained, risen to the Dark Council. What does it take to beat you? How can you be so powerful? I work hard, I train, practice my skills. There's nothing more to it than that. Impossible. There must be more. There has to be more. Please. It's clear that I'll never beat you. I... I, I don't... I, I don't think I even want to anymore. I just want to understand. I can't return to the Sith now. Not after this. They cannot help me become more than I am. Only you can. Hey there. Sounds like we won. Everyone all right? Some of the city guards were hit by the airstrikes, but we're pretty sure they'll make it. Looks like you have one prisoner. Was Petrif in the other shuttle that launched? Yes, he left as soon as I got there. I can help you. You can easily track him down with his sensor jammer's algorithm. I'll give you the algorithm, whatever you want. Yeah? How about the other fleets the Empire is targeting? Where will your friend strike next? Mech Shah. It's an old mining outpost that was converted to a fueling station. I don't have the details, but that's our, uh, Malgus's next target. Really? Just like that? <laughs> Let's get back to the palace. We can sort all of this out there. Sounds good to me. Then Savik's cooperation is sincere? She's actually told you the Empire's plan? Seems that way. I checked with General Dayrune, and we have a fleet headed to Mekshaw for refueling. The pieces fit. Arn and I will head there right away to meet with the fleet's commander, see if we can start rooting out the imps. I just hope we're getting there in time to stop them. Without those reinforcements, Corellia won't stand much of a chance. The Empire's tough to beat, but I'm sure we'll manage this time. Then let's get to it. See you on Mekshaw. Senator, thanks for everything. Safe travels. We've got Savik on an Alliance shuttle, ready to move out. She says she wants to stay with us. Well, with you, maybe. Of course, the Republic prefers that we transfer her to their control. How would you like to proceed? Take Savik to Odessa. She could become a real asset to the Alliance. Right away. Please don't make us find some other idiot to work for. Uh, that is... We'd much rather work for you. We'll be glad to have you. Lana can set you up with quarters back on Odessa. Oh, that's just ridiculous. We have your ship fueled and ready whenever you wish to depart. Using Savik's information, we've sent troops to follow King Petrif. We expect to have him back in a matter of days. His trial will be interesting.